hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is indiana and today we're doing a makeup look um i'm gonna take these off they are um under eye patches and i saw on tiktok like um a girl like left them on until she was like about to do her concealer and then like her makeup her makeup <laughs> and then her makeup like came out better like less creasing under the eye so i tried it once but i forgot to like look at my under eyes like over the hours so this time i'll let you guys know if it worked um so i already did my eyebrows they actually look good today surprisingly and i'm gonna tell you guys the products that i used so first i used the essence make me brow it's like an eyebrow gel and it really helps with like my gaps that I have like in my eyebrows because they're um, not there. So this is number two, brownie brows. This is what it looks like. And then I took my LA Girl dip brow and this is what it comes with. And I use dark brown. I use that to outline. And I also just got this Revlon Color Stay again. It's in soft brown, 210. Um, I didn't use it today because I realized I didn't need it today, but usually I use this to fill in like the places that the um, dip brow like misses. And I cleaned it up with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and 45 Tan. And I also did like cons spot concealing, I think that's what it's called. But lastly, and then I'm done talking for a while. Um, I use the Milk Hydro Grip Primer and the Ellis Putty Primer. I use this one first and then this one. So today I'm wearing blue. You can't see it, but I guess I'll show you. We're wearing blue today. So obviously we're gonna do a blue eye. Got the Juvia's Place Culture Palette. Ah. Oh, okay. Ah. It's so cute. They're literally like so pretty. Like I, I can't. Um, obviously since we're using blue, I'll probably be using Afro Beats and Shakuri. Those are the ones I'll be using most likely. But before we do that, I'm going to do underpainting. I've done it like three times and I did it like a couple weeks ago. It's just my blush always separates like from my concealer, foundation. So we're just going to start underpainting again because it makes it in my opinion makes it more flawless okay this is gonna start to look crazy but honestly just trust the process i ran out of my contour which is the nyx wonder stick i literally only have enough to do my nose um so we're going back to my revolution extra spice palette silky x and using cheesecake and chocolate orange as you can see they're literally demolished those are the ones that I would use for my contour. This is me looking into the mirror, by the way. And we're just gonna start the contour of my cheeks, my jaw, my forehead. Happy summer, everyone. <laughs> well, I realize that like, Summer doesn't really mean anything to people except like people in school, like me. Like when you hear summer, you're like, oh, thank God, no more school, you know? But, um, you know, happy summer. I finished junior year and I passed. <laughs> junior year was definitely my hardest because I was trying really hard, literally the whole year. But now life gets hard because I'm a senior um which is graduation last day walking school halls last time like seeing like the same people you know like usually in high school like okay when i was in middle school i thought okay high school i'm not gonna see any of the same people again since there's like so many different classes but i still see the same people that i've literally known since like elementary and middle school and high school so now it's like finally <laughs> finally i'm not gonna see people anymore i feel like everyone knows like a version of me like a different era and all of them were terrible um but you know my senior one would be my best one but 
you know what I mean? It's just being around the same people, it's like, they probably think they know you, but like, literally don't know you. But I like that. I like that no one actually knows me. Like, I just gave you a version of myself. <laughs> that sounds bad, but... Today I'm gonna use my Fenty Cream Blush in Summertime Wine. Again, this is gonna look crazy, but it all goes together. This summer, I haven't really done anything, which is fine because honestly, school really like made me tired. And I honestly, not even kidding, I spent the rest of May in June just sleeping. Like, it's crazy how much I was sleeping. Like, I really needed sleep. Um, how many times did I just say like? <laughs> I had a last week of school vlog. I don't know if I'll put it up, but I probably won't. Um, but me thinking about all the people that were like excited to see the video and I'm just like, no. <laughs> um, not because like, like I would like to post it, but it's just like, I don't feel the need to. Like, I don't like school that much. Um, will I be making senior videos? Yes. So why can't I post that one? I just can't. This blush is so pretty, like I literally love it. It's gonna be toned down, obviously, but it's just so pretty. I'm using a Real Technique brush. It's the Expert Face Brush. I use it for my cream blush. Now I'm going to take my NARS concealer in Amande Medium Deep 3. And we are going to do my concealer placement. Also, usually I do my eyes first, but um, my eyes aren't like gonna be that dramatic, so it's okay if we have like just a little bit of fallout. And plus, I need my concealer to dry down a little bit. Also, I've started moving it downwards a little bit, and I'm going to define my contour even more by cutting my jaw. And it might look like I'm using a lot of makeup, but I'm literally not. You just dip it, wipe, and all that goes a long way. Like, you really don't need much at all. Okay, so we're gonna let that sit for a little bit before we blend it out. So I guess I'll pop my knuckles, okay. Um, I did my nails. This is my first time having black tips. Usually I do white and they're supposed to be like little stars. I'm actually really proud of them. Like I've been doing my nails since like last year, the end of last year now. And I think I'm getting better. They're also very short and I usually don't go this short, but like for my 16th birthday, I accidentally, accidentally, um, I didn't want to tell the lady to make them longer because I have anxiety. Um, so they were like this short, but I actually ended up loving it after like complaining to everyone for like two weeks, but you know, Better late than never. I should look cute like this, like, snatch girl, get it. Um, this blue that I'm wearing really is making me feel like it's summer. Like, summer doesn't feel like summer until you're like actually doing something. Anyway, so I'm gonna blend out my nose first and blend in that blush as well. And then we're going to do the concealer down here. You should also bring it down because you don't want it to look too light. But it's okay if you make it too light because the next step will literally help with that. I'm going to blend out my concealer under my eyes and then we'll be back. Okay, I blended it out. It looks so good. Like, I really love underpainting. Like, I think before I was just doing it wrong, if we're being honest. Okay, I have a new brush. I probably should have said that in this video I am testing out new makeup products. Um, this is the Morphe M439 brush. I got it from a YouTuber. Um, the brushes that I'm gonna show in this video, I got it from a YouTuber. I cannot remember her channel name, but um, I knew I needed new brushes. And this is what she recommended as a foundation one. 
so what we're gonna use for as foundation we're gonna use covergirl um clean fresh um i like to think of it as like a skin tint because it's really like runny but like like I tested it on the back of my hand to like match my color and it didn't feel like a foundation, you know, it just like rubs right in. It's gonna be my summer go-to skin tint, hopefully 610 Rich Deep. So we're gonna try this in the brush out. I'm gonna just put it on the brush, I feel like, and then just like, and then just like rub it into my skin. So with this, I actually just like guessed what my like shade would be and like I literally got it right on my first try and I'm just so impressed with my makeup skills you know like I'm getting so much better <laughs> at knowing my shade because in like 2020 I looked orange like I'm so glad there's like no videos of it but I looked so orange sad fact is I wear crop tops so you can literally see my skin compared to my face and it's just it's not me <laughs> this feels so nice like it's super cold and like i don't know it's just it's blending really easily like i love this i feel like i could do a little more it feels like lightweight you can see it's, it's supposed to it says dewy finish so i i feel like i have a little bit of a glow going on kind of and that's because of this, I guess. <laughs> okay. I really like this brush also. I feel like that's making it easy as well because it's like, it's just really soft. Like it's it's hard like against your face, but like once you like putting the product, like it melts into like your skin. So far, I would say this is a hit and the same with the brush quickly just gonna apply more of that eyeshadow as contour before we do my favorite part currently i am reading good girl bad blood it is a series it's the a good girl's guide to murder series it's really good honestly like hold on let me just do this too i already contoured my nose with the wonder stick by the way off camera and we're just gonna add some more of this for some definition. I really had liked the first book, which is obviously why I have the second one now. Um, it's basically about a girl named Pip and there was like this closed case of Andy and Sal and like they thought that Sal killed his girlfriend Andy and then killed himself. But the more and more she does it like it's like a school project the more and more that she digs deep that's not the case so if you like reading you should check it out i'm like um 100 and something pages in it's getting good <laughs> um it takes a while to get to the point in the first book which was something that really bugged me but honestly it was very needed like to fluff it up because in the end it was like wow but yeah as soon as i'm done with the second one i'm gonna get the third one but yeah i just thought i would recommend a book or three usually i let this sit but i've been starting to get like too um too much flashback because i use a basically like a white um I use a white powder so I usually go back over with whatever foundation or concealer I used to make it darker it's gonna sound crazy okay so I use a revolution translucent powder like I was saying and then I go back over with a foundation or concealer brush that I used then I go in with my Laura Mercier powder which is more my color it's like what is it called uh medium deep and then it turns like the bottom half of my face back to like close to my color if that makes sense going back in with that revolution powder i'm gonna take my mini beauty blender and we're gonna carve out the side of my nose SZA came out with the central deluxe and i literally can't stop listening to it like i've already listened to it like <laughs> three times this morning <laughs> 
and it's only like it's literally 4 p.m so good job SZA. um i really like tread carefully but i also like jody but i also like awkward but let's just say i like the whole thing now i want to listen to them <laughs> usually when i um bake my nostrils i go ahead and like wipe it and then use the rest for the top of my lip I forgot to try out my new brush. It is the Real Techniques setting brush. And then I have Real Techniques blush brush, which looks like this. And lastly, I have the e.l.f. angled brush. Um, I know I already set my face and stuff like that, but I really wanna try these brushes out. So we're gonna try them out. Sometimes I use the Laura Mercier front of my eyes and since I want to try this brush out, I don't want to do too much of my translucent one. So we're going to do some Laura Mercier and just tap that under the eye. This is so soft. Oh my god. Wait, I actually really like this. And then you can just like blend too. I got this angled brush for contour. So you already know what we're doing. We're going back into that palette we used earlier. I'm going to try out this brush. The brush is really soft. All of these brushes are really soft and easy to work with. Like I feel like you barely even have to like dab your face. Like I'm literally going so soft and usually I'm beating my face. So it's really nice to not have to do that. Okay, so I decided to bring you guys closer so that you can see me do this eye look. So using Sher Sher using the dark blue Shari Sher whatever the word is, um, with the Morphe M513 brush, I'm gonna show you guys how I got it to look like this on this side. I started by just packing it where I wanted it to start off, which is at the outer corner of my eye. I just packed it on, and then I started to diffuse it and working it into the crease of my eye. And I wanted it to line up with where I did my concealer to where my eye looked more lifted, but I'm really gonna pack it in the crease of my eye. Sometimes I have to go like lift my eyebrows up and then stick the brush in the crease to really make sure that the product is getting there. And I just go over and over. So now I'm gonna take my Morphe M456. It's a little tinier, but it's about the same. I'm gonna take Afro Beats on top of the dark blue and also start working it into my crease just so that we can have like basically like a blending shade I guess you can say just one dab of it and we're gonna make it last I realized that I mostly just do like natural eye makeup looks I barely do color anymore I think it's because I did them so much when I was like testing like when I was first getting into makeup in middle school. So I kind of just opt for more naturalness when I got to high school. This is what we're looking like. I really like it. I think it looks really good so far. I'm gonna take that same Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in 45 and just take a flat head brush and we're going to cut my crease. I'm gonna use Afro Beats again and focus it mostly on my inner tear ducts and inner corner. So I'm literally just gonna pack it right there until I get the color I want. Before I do the middle cut crease that I left, I am going to do eyeliner. I'm gonna go all the way in and out like a cat eye and that's gonna take me about 15 minutes, not even kidding. So I'll be back. Okay, so I did my liner. I did it very lightly because I was so terrified of me messing up. 
but I just tried out the NYX glitter primer I really think it's gonna work because it was like sticky and like and honestly when I blink it feels a little tacky right now like eyelash glue so I think that's good and we're gonna try to pack on some eyeshadow glitter first I'm gonna use the Zulu palette by Juvia's Place and I'm going to use this really pretty blue how pigmented that is usually I have to keep packing okay, so I had to finish my eyes off camera because I was running out of storage but the second glitter that I used was from the Doja Cat BH Cosmetics palette Lush and it's like a purple shimmer like the Juvia's Place one but I don't know it has like green speckles in it and I popped these lashes on they're the Dollar Tree ones um wispy dramatic it looked it was in this packaging though just in case you're able to find them and you like how they look on my eye now i'm gonna try out the real techniques blush brush even though this brush is really like fluffy and nice i'm literally having to dig into my blush just to get some pigment to transfer onto the brush onto my face if you thought this look couldn't get any more blue someone lied to you because we're gonna go in with this um this eyeliner pencil and put it in my lower lash line it's actually glittery it's really pretty i've used it before but like i didn't realize like how pigmented it was i went in with the nyx jumbo eyeliner pencil because i love having black and you might be thinking won't that mess up the blue no just open your mouth and your eyes as wide as you can um the mouth part is optional but i definitely recommend it makes you feel like your eyes are really getting bigger and then you're gonna have both colors the best of both worlds <laughs> two more new products i swear <laughs> we have the fenty beauty by rihanna kilowatt foil it is a highlighter duo highlighter duo we have Mimosa Sunrise and Sangria Sunset. I have already used this, both of them. <laughs> but they're really great. I'm gonna use my Morphe M510 brush. And then we're just gonna use this as highlighter. And then we're gonna go in with the Kiehl with the What A Brat. Ah, this is so pretty. I love it. I love pink. One day, one day I'm gonna drown myself in pink glitter. To finish off this look, we're gonna try out the Milani, Milani Make It Last setting spray. Oh geez. Okay, just drowned myself. I'm pretty sure I won't know if I like the setting spray right now. So in my next video, I'll be sure to tell you guys if I enjoyed it. Um, I sprayed too much. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. I think it all came together great. My makeup was inspired by makeup underscore RHK. She did a pink version and I went with a blue and put my own twist on it, of course. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe, share, and I will see you guys soon. Make sure to be kind to your mind, body, and soul. See you soon, bye.